Science Week this week, getting students involved in physics and biology and chemistry and including the Norman Nokia Observatory Open Day on Saturday. Um, we've also had a big theological question being asked as part of the collaboration between Christian Union and Humanist Society, talking about God is no longer relevant and we had four external speakers including two humanists and two Christians. And of course the most important change that happened this term, we are now part of your new senior prefect team. This term, Year 12 students did a week's work experience in February. For my work experience, I went to PZ Cousins in Manchester. I did my work experience in an MP's office in Sheffield. Uh, so I went to work with, um, at the Government Office for Science um, in Westminster. For my work experience, I went to a graphic design company in Lyme Regis. So for my work experience, I went to the International Tennis Federation in Roehampton in London. I did my work experience at the rd &E Hospital in Exeter. I was in, I was in a lot of meetings. Um, I sat with the Government Chief Scientific Advisor um, in a meeting between him and BT, talked about um, research and development in the technology industry. It was a great week for me, especially to improve my independence because I was living by myself for a week. Um, I learned all about the uh, tennis equipment industry, um, from rackets to balls to court surfaces for Davis Cup ties. I did some research into cases that constituents had written in. I did a lot of sketching and also learned how to use tools such as Photoshop and Vectorworks. Um, mostly I just shadowed the research and development team, so I spent time in their factory and in their labs making up samples, testing them in things like their phadometer and measuring their viscosity. I saw some radiology, some plastic surgery, general surgery, orthopaedics. The Year 12 Work Experience programme allows me now to act more independently and professionally in the future. So I travelled to Calais in February half term to, um, to help with the refugees out there and to take a load of uh, donations over from school and we did a kind of a money donation process uh, on GoFundMe. Um, so we raised about I think just over £500. We did a cake sale. Yeah, uh, yeah so we went to Little. We got about uh, four car loads worth of food, which was, uh, it was really good to kind of see because we seeing just how much food we could buy with a lot of money, which is quite a lot of food. And then we got that straight to the refugees, and you could really see where it all went. So, yeah. We are the new Modern Foreign Language Ambassadors for this year and we've run lots of events this term. We've set up French and German Club on Thursday lunchtime, the second half, and we've had a really, really active membership in the club. The PASH partnership with the Goethe Institute has been going from strength to strength this term. Um, Frau Dell represented the school at a conference in Liverpool with representatives from across Europe and there have been two Year 12 students have been selected to go on a Goethe Institute course. Year 12 has also participated in work experience where uh, they went to Campe, where they worked in local primary schools living with their host families and the French students also came to England here where they work, worked in local primary schools. Dr Julia Press from St Andrews came to, uh, last week came to talk about translating opera and uh, she translated Gluck's uh, Taurus in Iphigenia and she spoke about the challenge of translating it. And we also had our own go at translating Claire Jacques. It's very difficult. <laughs> We did a question of sport for, uh, to raise some money for sport relief and it was very exciting. We had good performances from both teams and it ended up in a draw which was nice to see. Um, we also did the sport relief mile which went really well. We had loads of participants, people dressed up in really great costumes and we raised loads of money for sports relief so thanks everyone.